Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Gunplay News episode 17 for April 2016. This is part 3. I'm going to be going over some updates for some kit and figures. Right, so as you guys know, this usually tends to be the longest segment of Gunpla News, so let's just get right into it and start off with the figures. As usual, we have the uh, Gundam Fixed Figuration Metal Composite Unicorn 03 Phoenix out this month in April for 2,200 yen. Uh, very, very expensive, but of course looks very, very nice. Then out in October, we have the Metal Build Destiny Gundam Wing of Light Effect Part Set. So that's going to be out uh, again in October for 6,000 yen for the Effect Part Set. But, that's not all. You're also going to be able to, if you want, get the Metal Build Destiny Gundam. We'll also be getting a re-release, just the Metal Build Destiny Gundam by itself. Or, a third option is to get a full package set. So the full package set is going to be costing you 28,000 yen. Uh, very expensive, but it does come with the full Gundam and the effect part set. And it also has some new markings on there as well, new marking decals on it. So, you know, if you love the Destiny Gundam, you might consider dropping $250 on that. Uh, then the Tamashi Web Shop exclusive Metal Build Destiny Gundam Heine Western Flues version is out this month in April for 19,000 yen. And someone told me that, uh, I believe in the last month's Gunpla News, that that already came out before and this is a re-release. I didn't know that. I thought this is the first time this is coming out, but I could very well be wrong, obviously, apparently, or something. Uh, as you guys know, figures and stuff is not really my expertise. I share it with you guys for those people who are interested in that, but it's not something that I'm really personally too much interested in, so I will admit that I don't follow that stuff very, very closely, but just uh, closely enough to share some news with you guys. Uh, then, uh, yeah, so that'll be out this month for 19,000 yen, uh, if you're interested in that. Uh, then also the Metal Build Strike Freedom Wing of Light effects parts out in June for 7,000 yen, if you want to add some effect parts to your Metal Build Strike Destiny, uh, Strike Freedom, I should say. Then we have the SDX Superior Kaiser out in September. And again, not exactly sure on the price tag. I still have not seen any update as for what exactly the price is for this, uh, but going to be very, very expensive. It's very large and very uh, intricate, I guess you could say. A lot of stuff going on in there. So. The lowest price that I've seen for that is 23,000 yen. The highest price for a full plating version, 60,000 yen. Somewhere between 20 and 60,000 yen will be the uh, price or prices if they do still, if they are still making two different versions of that at the moment. I don't know. Uh, Robot Spirits Dom version anime is out this month in April for 6,000 yen. And then if you guys saw in the last video, I talked about the new announcements. There was announced a Shars Rick Dom version of this, just a different color version of this that's going to be out later this year. Uh, but the regular Dom is out this month. Looks very nice. Again, these anime series figures uh, do look really quite nice. They're just sort of capturing that uh, old sort of retro style, but then giving them really cool effect parts and then really amazing articulation is what, from what we've seen of the figures so far. Then out next month is the Robot Spirits Zaku 2 version anime for uh, 5,500 yen out in May. Again, same thing, really cool effect parts, cool retro look, uh, nice articulation, uh, but for a price more expensive than a Master Grade 2.0, uh, which would be questionable for me as to which one to buy. Uh, Robot Spirits Goof version anime is also going to be coming out then in July for 6,000 yen. They appear to be skipping June or I missed something, but uh, apparently nothing coming out in June for that series, uh, for that line. And then after that, the Robot Spirits Gunner Zaku Warrior Lunamaria Hawk Custom out in July as well for 6,000 yen. That one looks really nice. If you guys remember, last, that was announced last month. I talked about it last month. I was very excited. I love the long legs on that kid. The proportions on that uh, figure look awesome. I, it's, to my personal taste, may not be for everyone, but I think the proportions look super, super good. Uh, that is actually a really quite nice figure there. Then the Robot Spirits X Kai Signature Barzam Kai out in June for 8,500 yen. And then following that is going to be the Robot Spirits uh, Full Armor Gundam Mark II uh, AU version out in August for 11,000 yen. So we did now get the uh, price for that at 11,000 yen, quite expensive. 
Then uh, following that, uh, this month, we'll have the Robot Spirits Gundam Barbatos. It is going to be 5,800 yen for that. And then next month in May, we're going to have the Robot Spirits Gundam Kimaris out uh, for 6,000 yen again in May. And then uh, in June, we have Robot Spirits Destiny Impulse Gundam out uh, in June for 6,000 yen. Love the colors and pretty nice look, I guess. Uh, not the biggest Destiny fan, uh, but the Impulse, I think it's... The body of the Impulse is really cool. The Destiny backpack, you know, it's okay. But uh, I just really like the color scheme, actually. Then we have the Robot Spirits Cubelet as well. It's going to be out in June, but no price released for that yet. Uh, again, just looks like a really nice Robot Spirits version of the Cubelet if you wanted to have that instead of the HGUC Revive kit, which is really a nice kit. So, again, uh, depending on which kind of path you usually like to go. And then for an exclusive, we have the Tamashi Web exclusive Rick DS early production type out in May as well for 6,000 yen. So quite a lot of Robot Spirit stuff coming out over the next few months. Uh, April, May, June, July. I'm going to uh, have at least one or two in each of those months with some cool Robot Spirits. So if you guys are fans of Robot Spirits, the line is alive and well. Plenty of stuff coming out for you to consider buying. Then we have the Armor Girls Project MS Girl Gundam Mark II Titans version option set out in May for 3,500 yen. The uh, set, the uh, actual figure set, came out at the end of last year, December, I believe, of last year. Then we have the Armor Girls Project MS Girl Banshee Awakening version. Uh, this one is uh, no price or release date set for this yet, but that one also looks very cool. But I'd imagine it's going to be upward of at least 6,000 yen probably more. Uh, those are usually quite expensive. So then we have the Mega House Cosmo Fleet Collection Isaribi. This is obviously the ship from Tekaden, as you can see there with the very large Tekaden logo right on the front of that. This is, we finally got some more information for this now that the Argama was released. I think they like only like to do one thing at a time. So like now the Argama was released, it was their previous kit, and now, okay, now they're going to give us some more information about the Isaribi. Uh, so this is out in August for 5,800 yen. Pretty cool. And these uh, Mega House Cosmo Fleet ships all usually come with like a set of three small little uh, Gundam figures in there as well. This one is going to be including the Barbatos, the Gushan Rebake, and the Ryusei Go, the Grey's Kai 2. So those will be included with that as well. Uh, then we have the Assault Kingdom. The Assault Kingdom Full Armor Double Zeta Gundam out in March for 3,200 yen. Again, coming with the uh, Hyper Mega Cannon as well as the Mega Rider. So we have lots of options with this set. But all those options are going to drive up the cost as you have a lot of stuff in the box. So 3,200 yen is a little bit high for a just small little um, Assault Kingdom figure. But it does look pretty cool, I guess. Then Next Edge, we have a lot of Next Edge stuff kind of uh, on the books, sort of. This month, out in April, is going to be the Next Edge Gundam Astray Blue Frame 2nd L for 3,000 yen out this month. Then in May, we have the Gundam Unicorn Destroy Mode out in May for 2,700 yen, which again looks really cool. And again, all of these come with their own sort of custom effect part, so the Unicorns uh, looks really quite nice as there as well. Next Edge Banshee Destroy Mode. So we have the Unicorn in Destroy Mode, now also the Banshee in Destroy Mode as well. Here, this one's out in June. For 3,000 yen. After that, in July, is going to be the Next Edge style Gundam Astray Gold Frame Amatsu for our July release for 3,000 yen. Then after that, is the Next Edge style uh, High New Gundam out in August for 3,000 yen as well. Again, that looks really cool. That was announced last month, and now we have some nice uh, color pictures of that looking pretty cool. And then after that, we have the Next Edge style Nightingale out in September for 4,500 yen. So from now till September, we have our, our, all, of the kit, all of the Next Edge figures coming out each month. And the Nightingale as well also looks really quite nice. I'm not sure from just the images we have so far if it's coming with that uh, base. You can see in one of the photos it's on a base with some small effect parts for the funnels. I would hope and assume it's coming with that. But I don't know at the moment, I haven't seen that in like official information. Just because it's pictured with it doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually included. So we'll have to see. Then, moving into some Gundam Converge stuff. We have the Converge X EX10 
Gundam Astray Red Frame with Flight Unit out in May for 2,000 yen. Uh, again, this is the Red Frame Astray with the Flight Unit and some other extra stuff that it comes with, some really cool stuff there. As well as the Converge EX-11 Gundam Astray Blue Frame with full armor, uh, full weapon form. So again, the Astray Blue Frame with a bunch of extra stuff. That one is also coming out in May, also for 2,000 yen. So the, uh, if you buy both of those, it's going to cost you 4,000 yen for just the two of those Converge figures. Pretty pricey. But uh, hey. Then after that is going to be the Converge EX-12 uh, New Zeal and 0083 Final Battle Equipment Set in June for 4,700 yen. So aside from just the New Zeal, which has a lot of stuff included with just that, this also comes with extra parts that you're going to use uh, with the Dendrobium. So you will need to have that as well. You don't have to have that, but of course you've, you have parts for that. So you might as well uh, for making the 0083 final battle sort of uh, scene fight between the two of them. So uh, that is pretty cool. Then uh, Gundam Converge series number two is out in April uh, this month with the Barbatos, the Exia, the Shars Zaku, the Origin version, the Gaplant, the Gaplant TR5 Hiaru. Really cool set. I'd love a TR5 Hyaru, so hopefully going to be picking one of those up in Japan next month. It's kind of funny. Uh, I'll talk more about this later, but at the moment, just uh, I'm not. I'm hoping to not buy too many kits in Japan, like like zero to just a couple, something like that. Hopefully zero, uh, but I will have to buy at least a couple just for a giveaway. Uh, but what I do want to hopefully pick up is a few Converge figures, going to check out like some secondhand stores and try to buy some uh, older Converge figures for pretty cheap of some uh, Converge uh, sets that I would really like. So anyway, off on a tangent there, but uh, then next is uh, Gundam Converge series number three out in June for 500 yen each. It's the RX-7802 Gundam The Origin, the Gabfle, the uh, Gera Doga, the Akatsuki, the Schwalbe Greys Megillus, and the Schwalbe Greys Gaelio versions. So the Greys kits do come with extra parts for the Converge Barbatos, so if you do get the Converge Barbatos this month, later in June you can get some different op option parts for that coming with the uh, Schwalbe Greys kits. So uh, the Schwalbe Greys uh, figures, I should say. So that's pretty cool. That's it for all the Converge stuff. Then into the P Bandai stuff, we have the P Bandai Unicorn Gundam Final Battle version out this month in April for uh, 24,000 yen. I got a message uh, from my friend in Japan who I asked to order that for me. She said, your kit is coming soon. And so I'm very excited about that. <laughs> I think that's going to be shipping on the 15th, she said. She said she got a notice that it's going to be shipping on the 15th or something. So then I'll hopefully have it in... She's on vacation at that time, so actually, uh, she'll it'll be delivered there, and then she'll send it to me, and I'll probably be able to show it to you guys, maybe around the middle of May. I'll try to show it to you guys as soon as possible, at least the unboxing, and then building it might take a little bit longer as well, because I'll probably be very behind at that time, just due to the Japan trip, but uh, anyway, I will show that to you guys as soon as I can. Then the P Bandai Master Grade High Mobility Type Zaku 2 Eric Mansfield Custom out in May for 4,500 yen. Again, just mostly a recolor here, including some new color, uh, new water slide decals, as well as maybe one or two new parts there for the head, the antenna on the head, but mostly just a recolor with some water slides, so not bad. Uh, then the P Bandai HG Build Fighters High New Gundam Influx is out this month in April for 3,000 yen. It looks pretty interesting if you like the High New. And the P Bandai Master Grade Freedom Gundam 2.0 effect parts set out in May for 2,000 yen. So that again just comes with five uh, different effect parts for the Master Grade Freedom Gundam 2.0. And then the P Bandai HG Crossbone Gundam X2 out in April for 2,000 yen. Just again another version of the Crossbone Gundam here. Uh, it is just the regular X2. After having the X2 Kai and the X1 Kai, now we have just the X2. This probably should have been just a regular uh, HGUC release. Unfortunately, it's a P Bandai release, but uh, you know, what can you do, right? Then the P Bandai HG High Mobility Type, High Mobility Zaku Prototype 
out in April for 2,000 yen. Again, uh, not the most difficult thing to kit bash if you want it, but that's probably going to cost you more than just buying this kit. So if you really wanted this, I would recommend just buy this. If people try to tell you, ah, just kit bash it. Like, again, as I said last month, kit bashing it, you have to buy two, three kits at least to do that, plus modification work, uh, or just buy the kit and no modification work, and just the one kit is despite it being p band it's still probably going to cost you less than buying two or three uh, regular kits. So just a reminder to anyone about that. Uh, then the p band uh, Easy SR Foxhound is out this month in April for 2,000 yen. Again, just Naoki's redesign of the Easy SR uh, Maxima, kind of. So it has some cool new parts for that if you want it, and it's in that very bright red and white color scheme there. And the p band HGUC Gerbera Tetra rollout version out in May. For 2,000 yen. This one again only coming with just a few new parts there for the head it looks like. Other than that really not going to be a whole lot much else different about this. Following that the P Bandai uh, HGUC Drasi Kai is also out in May for slightly more 2,200 yen. The Drasi cool design and this one is including some huge new shoulder, arm, uh, shoulder boosters on there. It looks really cool. Uh, all right, and then so let's get into just the standard release stuff. The Master Grade Freedom Gundam 2.0 is out this month in April for 4,500 yen. Looking really cool. Now we finally got a picture of the box art. As I talked about in the last episode of Gunpla News, I'm really pleased that they made the box art like this. I'm really happy with this box art quite a bit. I think for them doing like the full like beam spamming box art that you would kind of expect. That's boring, right? It's not really a very interesting pose. For this one, I think uh, one of the great things about this kit is some of the engineering that they've put into this kit. Some of the engineering and like the articulation I think is going to be really, really amazing in this kit. So it makes sense that they put a pose on the box art that sort of like reflects that. So I think that's uh, good. I'm very happy with that. Then we have the 100 scale Grimgird, also out this month for 2,700 yen. I love the design of the Grimgird. I still have my doubts a little bit about this kit, if it's going to be better than the HG, because the HG is amazing. Of course, the 100 scale is going to be uh, having a little bit more part separation, probably a little bit more detail, but in terms of just the overall proportions and articulation, it's going to be very hard to beat the HG. So uh, depending on what you look for in a kit, it's definitely going to be something we're going to be comparing in the review for that uh, later. Then the HG Armblood Orphans Grey's Ein out in April for 1400 yen this month. Uh, so this is out very, very soon. Actually, I heard this is coming out uh, just within a few days, actually. It should be out. Then also out in next month in May, the last HG Armblood Orphans kit that we have on the books so far uh, is out in May is the Gundam Astaroth. And again, just in case anyone doesn't know, this is not from the series and it's not from Season 2 as far as we know. It's not going to appear in Season 2. This is just from a manga side story. So uh, if anyone's interested or like thinking, where is that Gundam from? It's from the manga, the currently running manga side story. So that is, again, out in May for 1,000 yen. Looks really cool, though. But definitely a very interesting design. Then for the Kara stand plates, we've got uh, number 5 for Kudelia. It's out this month for five, uh, 540 yen. Uh, again, she, does, she doesn't actually pilot any mobile suit, but whatever. And then next month in May, the Kara stand plate 06 is out for Atra. Again, not a mobile suit pilot, but oh well. Hopefully after that, we don't have any more uh, Kara stand plates on the books at the moment, uh, scheduled for after May, but I'm sure there'll be more. What I'm hoping for is a Karta Kara stand plate, a Karta issue one. So far, nothing announced, but fingers are definitely crossed for that. So I don't know, I'm hoping. Next, uh, from Gunner with Thunderbolt, we have the HG full armor Full Armor Gundam, Gundam, Th Gundam Thunderbolt anime version out this month in April for 2,700 yen. Again, just slightly recolored version of the Thunderbolt Full Armor Gundam as well as the uh, Zaku 2 and Big Gun Gundam Thunderbolt anime version. Again, just slightly recolored. Recolored for the better, in my personal opinion. So I'm ha very happy with that. Also out this month in April for 4,100 yen. So I'll be getting both of those and very happily going to uh, build those and review them for you guys. I haven't ever built any Thunderbolt HG kits, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Then we have the HG High Mobility Type High Mobility Type Zaku 2 Psycho Zaku, again, Thunder, Thunderbolt anime version, out next month in May for 2,700 yen. Again, a very 
very slightly changed uh, Psychozaku kit, and then the HG GM Gun of Thunderbolt anime version, also out in May for 1,800 yen. So that is it for Thunderbolt. Then moving into Revive, the HGUC Revive Goof is out this month in April for 1,400 yen, finally. So it looks really cool, definitely looking forward to checking that out. Uh, and then next month in May, we're going to have the HGUC Revive Gyan out uh, for 1,200 yen. So the, the Gyan does look really quite nice. As I've said before, I'm not a fan of the design of the Gyan really, but the kit does look nice, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. You know, If the kit is really nice, it could definitely sway me a little bit to liking the design a little bit more, depending on what it's able to do. So uh, following that is going to be the HG Revive Force Impulse Gundam out in June for 1,800 yen. Again, we are now finally seeing some pictures of this kit, but the pictures they've showed us so far have not been really the most impressive. It's either just standing there or it's in an action pose. It's like barely an action pose. I think with the Revive kits, I'm sure this kit is, is capable of getting like super dynamic. So it's just unfortunate they haven't really shown that yet in their advertising for the kit. But I'm sure, I have no doubt that the kit is going to be a very dynamic looking kit. And I'm very much looking forward to checking that kit out uh, when that comes out at the end of June. Again, for 1,800 yen. So we do know that the Force Impulse Gundam is going to be numbered uh, 198 in the HUC line. I believe probably the uh, Unicorn Gundam, the Full Armor Unicorn Gundam Red uh, Destroy Mode, or Red Color Version, is probably going to be 199. So that means we still don't know what the number 200 HGUC kit is going to be yet, uh, unless I'm wrong about something there, but... So I'm guessing maybe at the end of this month we're finally going to get the announcement as to what the big Number 200 is going to be in the line. Hopefully it's something really cool and exciting. Uh, you know, it's a pretty big number. Very um, kind of good achievement there in the line to reach number 200. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's something really cool. Uh, moving into the origin now, we have the uh, HG YMS03 WAF. We did finally now get the English spelling of the name here is W-A-F-F WAF for this out uh, this month in April for 1600 yen. So I should be getting that here in a couple weeks and reviewing that to share with you guys. Looks really cool, of course, it's coming with everything like a normal uh, HG Origins kit, a lot of marking stickers there for that, and just overall really nice details and articulation, so looking forward to checking that out. Then the HG Zaku 1, the Origin version, uh, the either denim or slender unit, so those, uh, those are two characters in the series, obviously. Uh, out in next month in May for 1,700 yen. So this is coming with all of the um, weapons as the like Shara's Zaku. Uh, bazooka, the long rifle, the heat hawk, also coming with the Zaku machine gun as well actually. So something the Shara's Zaku did not come with uh, for some strange reason. But um, yeah, so it looks like really cool. Of course on the one version that just has like the caution red, uh, yellow and black stripes on the shoulder, of course that's going to be a sticker we can see. One of the pictures of just the like bare plastic kit with no stickers on it. Uh, obviously that is just plain there. So uh, of course that is going to be a sticker, but uh, painting that shouldn't be too hard to sort out. So next, uh, that's it for HG. Moving into RG, we have the RG00 Quant out in May. Coming up very soon for 2,700 yen. Hopefully the announcement of whatever RG is going to be coming up next after that is also coming out later this month. I believe there's some big hobby show coming, I forget which one it is, uh, Shizuoka, I believe, is coming very soon. Uh, so probably at that is going to be when we're going to be getting a lot of these big announcements for the next RG as well as the next RE. The RE100 scale Ifrit is out this month for 1,000, uh, sorry, 3,500 yen. Looking forward to checking that out just because I like the design of the Ifrit. Uh, I don't think I still don't think that the kit looks as good as the original artwork, but I, ha I felt the same thing about the DJ. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm really, really hoping that we get a P-Bandai version of that to get the E-Free Schneid. And the BB-8, uh, the, moving on to SD, the SD BB Senshi number 400 Knight Superior Dragon Gundam is out in May for 2,500 yen. Again, very expensive for an HD, uh, for an SD kit, but it does come with a clear orange base as well as some metallic plated parts in there as well, so that would explain the slightly higher price tag for that. And it looks like it just comes with a lot of stuff in there in general, kind of. So, pretty big kit there for number 400 in the SDBB Senshi line. That's crazy that they're up to 400. 
Then for SDX standard, we have the X standard Destiny Gundam out this month for 6,000 yen. Again, I'm assuming that's going to be very standard, uh, just lots of stickers, but nice details, nice proportions, uh, weapons, so-so. Um, the next one after that is going to be SDX Standard Gundam Barbatos out in May for 600 yen. Again, cool, that comes with a lot of different weapon choices, uh, three of them, either the sword, the mace, or the cannon, so you do have some options for that. Then after that is going to be the Build Burning Gundam out in July, the Death Scythe Hell out in uh, September, and the Shinanju out in May, so, uh, sorry, in November. So that'll be really cool. And that's going to do it for all of the kit and figure updates. There's a lot of them. So thank you guys for sticking with that. Uh, next part, we're going to talk about some third-party stuff. So I'll see you coming up next in part four. Bye-bye.